If the world was always fair, Mufasa the mountain lion would have spent his whole life surrounded by trees and prowling the wilderness for his daily dinners. Instead, the poor feline lived a life of misery, snatched from the wild as a cub by a Peruvian traveling circus. Mufasa spent 20 years chained to the back of a pickup truck. His only companion was rusted old circus equipment. Mufasa's handlers used him as a spectacle, transporting him from remote village to remote village to be gawked at and ogled as part of a show called Circo Coriander. Even after Peru banned the use of animals in circuses in 2011, his captors didn't stop. As the circus continued to operate under the radar for years, there seemed little hope that Mufasa would ever get to stretch his legs or move freely. That was until one day in April 2015. Animal Defenders International, ADI, was an American organization dedicated to saving animals all over the world from abuse. The team there received a tip about a circus illegally operating in northern Peru, Circus Coriander. Shocked by the news, ADI teamed up with police officers and wildlife officials in Peru for a surprise raid. As it turned out, there was more at stake than saving Mufasa the mountain lion. With wild animals banned from circuses in Peru, few remained in captivity throughout the country. In fact, authorities believed Mufasa was actually the very last wild animal suffering the circus life. This raid was in a sense symbolic. Naturally, the ADI team, led by Jan Creamer, the organization's president, met hostile resistance from the circus workers. What followed was a tense eight-hour standoff. Eventually, the ADI team and the Peruvian authorities called in a public prosecutor and Circo Coriander folded. With the weight of the law behind them, the rescuers were able to reach Mufasa. But could they save the poor cat's life? It was heartbreaking to see Mufasa chained among the circus equipment, living on the back of a pickup truck, Jan said. But it must have been amazing to see the cat hop out of the pickup for the first time. Jan added, a heavy harness and chains were wrapped around his body, and as we cut them away, he stretched free for the first time. Free as he was, the mountain lion was still dealing with a slew of health issues. Now that Mufasa was free of his chains, his rescuers turned their attention to finding him some medical attention. At twilight, they hoisted the cat, comfortable in his new cage, into the back of a truck. They planned to take him to the Spirit of Freedom Rescue Center near Lima, Peru. Even in a cage, Mufasa enjoyed luxuries he never imagined, like something as simple as a bed of straw to lie on. He wasted no time in stretching his legs and investigating every inch of the roomy cage while he was transported to a veterinarian. Right away, Mufasa responded well to his treatment. With rehabilitation, a healthy diet, and a lot of love, Mufasa's appetite increased and he put on some weight. His coat even regained a little bit of its lost sheen. After the veterinarians completed their treatment, the ADI team readied Mufasa for the next leg of his journey. Over three days, they transported him by truck and boat to the Tarakaya Ecological Reserve at the edge of the Amazon River. Finally, Mufasa the mountain lion was ready to move into some bigger digs. When the sliding door to his cage opened, he tepidly stepped out into the new spacious habitat where he would spend the rest of his life. But how would he respond? Far roomier than the back of a truck, the enormous caged-in habitat afforded Mufasa plenty of opportunities for sniffing and exploring. He had all kinds of cat stuff to catch up on after 20 years chained to a truck 
and he finally had the time and space to do it. Unfortunately, those 20 years wreaked havoc on the mountain lion. Though he received medical treatment, kidney failure and old age soon caught up to him. Just seven months after his rescue, Mufasa sadly passed away. Shortly after, ADI released a statement on the feline. We are so sad he did not enjoy more time in his forest habitat, but the real tragedy would have been if he had never experienced that freedom at all. Thanks to organizations like Animal Defenders International, hundreds of animals are getting the opportunity for some peace in life, and that's priceless. Good thing there are organizations like ADI who can help less fortunate animals like Mufasa, the mountain lion. At least he was able to live out the last of his days in happiness. Share this heart-wrenching rescue story with your friends below.